Hey guys, Scooter Street here. Have a um, really good example of a common issue that these bikes have. So this is a, um, a Kimco Vibe, um, also called a ZX Fever um, overseas. Um, and um, obviously these have the uh, vertical um, Honda style engine. So um, where most scooter engines are horizontal, um, so the piston uh, and the conrod are moving along a horizontal axis. Um, these are vertical, so the piston is essentially flying um, just straight up and down. Now, one of the big advantages of a horizontal engine is uh, uh, gravity is working uh, with the engine to help push the exhaust gas and the carbon and the, and the garbage, those sort of particulates that get built up uh, from fuel and oil out of the engine, out the exhaust. Unfortunately, with a, uh, a uh, vertical engine, this is not the case. So what uh, classically happens with these is they develop a really bad carbon buildup uh, in the top of the uh, header right here, which um, eventually just gets smaller and smaller and smaller until your, your exhaust gas is trying to um, uh, you know, fly out of a, the, the tiniest, tiniest little hole imaginable, um, uh, you know, like the size of a straw, instead of the full size of the exhaust port, and the bike just gets excessively slow. So this customer has come in today complaining of exactly this problem. The bike's uh, ridiculously slow. And um, uh, this is the first place we've looked, having seen it many times, and um, seen straight away that the exhaust port is um, about the size of a straw, and I'll show you in a second. But um, uh, one problem that does make this worse uh, is using poor quality oil. Now, scooters want to use really nice, thin two-stroke oil. All the lines are quite small, uh, and because they're such a hard-working little engine, um, they want to be able to burn the oil really easily. The oil burns, uh, and essentially the, um, the particulates from the oil as it burns atomize really nice and finely and exit the exhaust. When you have quite a heavy oil, uh, like a mower or, you know, like a... Um, a two-stroke gardening sort of um, uh, engine type oil or, or a race oil as well. They're a much heavier, poor qu poorer quality oil, and they don't want to burn out. And um, uh, that just on its own, even on a horizontal engine, can lead to issues. On a vertical engine, you're just asking for trouble. So I'll sort of see if I can get the camera down with a light and show you how small this little exhaust port is. But fortunately on these, because uh, one of the small advantages of um, a, uh, a vertical engine is it's quite easy to access the cylinder. Um, you're not working around the chassis and uh, the rest of the engine, you pop the seat out and, and there you are. So it, it really is quite a, uh, a small and, and quick job to um, to clean that carbon out. But um, yeah, unfortunately it is just a um, an inherent issue of that engine, which why most of the manufacturers have moved to the, the horizontal. So let's have a look at this. Okay, there you go. You can sort of see that tiny, tiny little opening there that the exhaust gas is trying to get out of. It's probably, um, probably one third to one quarter of the size of the actual opening. So what we're gonna do is gonna pop this um, cylinder out. Sometimes if you're really careful, you can get a, um, a tool in there and remove it. Um, to provide the pistons all the way down, so you're not going to potentially score the piston. You can remove some of that material, but we're um, we're just going to pop the um, pop the head off and and do it properly. But um, yeah, you can see there straight away, big problem. Your um, your exhaust ports, you know, one quarter to one third the size it should be. So all your exhaust gas is just getting stuck. And um, one of the problems with this, it's an exponentially uh, well, exponential issue in that um, it gets exponentially worse because the more that exhaust port becomes blocked the more quickly it blocks up further because um, obviously uh, the more blocked that port is the harder it is for the carbon to get out and so the carbon builds up more quickly so it um, gets exponentially worse uh, very quickly so we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get this one sorted but um, if you're um, uh, if you have one of these vertical engines you find them in uh, uh, like the sim dd50 um, which we call a jolly in Australia. Um, uh, a lot of the, the Hondas as well obviously it's a Honda style engine uh, like the Honda Elite um, you know, a lot of those Honda, uh, older sort of Honda engines. Obviously, you have the early Minarelli engine, which is vertical, like the, uh, in the Zuma or the BWS 50, um, or the Booster overseas. Um, they are prone to this issue, but generally, this particular engine, for whatever reason, is particularly bad for it. So, if you're experiencing these problems with your scooter, where it's just excessively slow, has hardly any power, that's the first thing you need to check, which are really easy. Four bolts, exhaust off, Shine a torch down. There you go.